Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my fifth Let's Play, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, for the PlayStation 3 and through the Nathan Drake Collection PS4 as well. The Nathan Drake Collection version is the game I'll be playing, meaning it'll be recorded at 60 frames for you lucky fellows. I'll be doing it on normal. I will have in the story cutscenes. I won't play it on speedrun mode because I like the cutscenes in this game. I have clicked normal, it's just got to, it's just got to save everything because I'm starting a new game. I'm carrying over my treasures but it doesn't actually change anything, it's just for my collectible status and such. I will be shutting up for the cutscenes like I did Evil Within, but not because of the plot but because some of them are really funny. Anyway, welcome. Here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <clears throat> For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. Oh, no, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh... Pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. How the hell they fought out here? Chapter one here is pretty much just introducing you to the basics. It will teach you the controls, get you into a few firefights, and while well, I have it, sprinkle some dialogue here and there to get you an idea of the characters you're playing with in this game. The controls are simple, left stick move, right stick camera, X jump, circle is a dodge roll or to jump into cover if you're close to it, triangle picks up whatever's nearby, square is your physical attack if you choose to use it, <coughs> L2 is your aim, R2 is your fire, R1 reloads and L1 throws grenades. Later on we'll also be able to push the sticks in for like scope and um, I think the left stick resets the camera to be honest. But uh, other than that yeah this is pretty much the standard for the Uncharted series. Uncharted 2 has identical controls and Uncharted 3 has mostly identical controls with a few changes here and there. Mostly doing with the aim being switched to like the X button for some bizarre reason. Anyway in this opening sequence, you're going to have people jump in the water here, and it's going to try and teach you to use physical attacks. The brutal combo it's asking us to do here, you can't do on the first people, no matter how hard you try, it just won't let you use the, phys the brutal combo. So you have to mash square on the first lot. These lot here, you can do the brutal combo. The only thing you ever want out of the brutal combo is that 
ammo is doubled from the enemies that drop it. We're, and it's only in Uncharted 1 you can do this. In Uncharted 2 it's uh, and onwards, it's replaced with, st uh, with stealth kills to get double ammo. Which is still effective, just I mean, it's not as satisfying as the brutal combos. Cause look at that! There's something quite satisfying about clobbering someone like that. Right, this bit's going to teach us about the whole cover thing, because uh, we can't put bullets in that. So we got to hide behind things. Oh, well, you can't use cover behind that crane, it seems. you got to use it in the boxes in the middle here. In the later Uncharted games, you'll be able to swivel around the corners of cover, but since it's Uncharted 1, we can't. I'm good. I won't complain that much about the later Uncharted games out doing this one, because it's the first game. You, don't, you, you can't expect everything to be on the nail when the second game and third games roll in and clean it up. But we were playing as Nathan Drake, our buddy with Elena, and Sully's just come in to do his bit. Whole ship's gonna blow. We gotta jump. Oh wait. What are you doing? Okay. Come on. Go. All right. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Yeah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you alright? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Oh, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. It's still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! 
Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. I'm not as young as I used to be. And now the quest for El Dorado yeah, begins. But not Lee quite Lee. this time. Ah, I'm gonna let it. this dialogue finish oh, so I can say a few more thing. things. Uncharted is a very chat heavy game, but it's not like plot <laughs> well, chat heavy, it's hey, just they try and make the characters feel as human as possible, so there is a lot there. of talking. But it's a nice, lo lovable cast of characters. As I said our protagonist here is Nathan Drake. We've got Victor Sullivan, or Sully, by our side for a lot of this. And the first person we met, Elena Fisher, who becomes more important in the sequels, but is still sort of important in this one. Anyway, our quest for El Dorado will begin properly next time. So next time on Uncharted, we do just that. Take care now.